it's Tyvug and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. It is one of my favorite times of the year. It is the Sephora sale. So the Sephora sale happens in the spring and the fall. So in the fall, it's like right before Christmas around then. And then the spring is just like celebration. <laughs> so today I'm going to be giving you guys skincare recommendations for dry skin. I'm going to be doing a couple of these, so this one is going to be for dry skin. I'm going to have one for oily skin, and then I'll probably have two parts for my makeup recommendations because I have so many of them. So how I'm going to format this is basically I'm going to talk to you guys like you're my best friend because I, like, make routines for all of my friends. Like, one of my friends even told me that they don't even buy makeup or skincare anymore. They just wait for me to gift them some, so... This is how I'm going to do it. So some of these I have tried. Some of them I've swatched. And some of them I have not tried before, but I've heard really good things. Also, I'm going to show you how to kind of go through the website and figure out if a product is going to be good for you or not. And I also always recommend just going into swatch a product because how it behaves with your skin is always different than how it's going to behave with someone else's skin, you know? And also... I'm not going to be going over any actives like skin exfoliants or vitamin C's because those can be really tricky and I don't want to mess up any of your guys' skin. So we're going to be focusing on the basics. If you're oily skin, you guys can go over to the next video. And if you're combination skin, watch both videos because I'm combination skin as well and I use products for both dry skin and oily skin. And during the winter, I only use dry skin products. So it's a, it's a delicate game, so let me show you the website. So here we are on the Sephora website. I have a whole bunch of tabs open just so I can go over things with you guys. And this is the Laneige Cream Skin Milk Oil Cleanser. So this is the first thing I'm going to be recommending to you guys is we're going to start with an oil cleanser in our routine. You only use the oil cleanser at night. It is to remove sunscreen and makeup and impurities. You know, like if you have oil buildup or anything. So I recommend using an oil cleanser every single night. And you should be wearing sunscreen every single day anyways. So you'll need to remove it every single night, you know. So they have like categories you can go to with skincare. And you can look it up in each one. But I did that for you guys. So this is Laneige Cream Silk Milk. This is so complicated words. Laneige Cream Skin Milk Oil Cleanser. And... It's always important to look at how many reviews a product has. It doesn't necessarily mean the product is good because there are a lot of new brands that just haven't gotten reviews before. But it's always interesting to look at that and see how many people have felt so compelled to write something about it. Then these highlights, I usually don't pay attention to the highlights at all because it says it's good for dryness, dry combo skin and normal skin. And while that is true, sometimes... They aren't very good about labeling that on other products. They'll, like they'll label something that's like a really thick cream and say it's good for oily skin. And it's like not at all. And then I do appreciate these fragrance free, sulfates, phthalates, and paraben free. Um, I am very sensitive to fragrance. So I would, I'm not going to recommend a lot of products that have fragrance, fragrance, fragrance in them. So that's something you guys should know. And then about the product that's, you can read it, but it's not really going to tell you a whole bunch. So then you go show more, and here's where you're going to want to start paying attention is the formulation. So it's saying it's a lightweight liquid. So it could either be like a lightweight liquid, a cream, a gel. So that's something important. And as you go through skincare products, you're going to start to realize what your skin likes. And my skin likes lightweight stuff. So then highlight ingredients is milk oil and white leaf tea water and to a lot of you guys that might not mean anything you know it's just okay cool a nice ingredient and this is where some brands do this some brands do not where they will tell you what this ingredient is going to be doing in the product so if it has it make sure to read that here is ingredients so a lot of the ingredients you're not going to know what they mean and ingredients behave differently in each product so like some of them can be binding agents, some of them can be stabilizing agents, or some of them can be foaming agents. They're all different and you don't want to pay attention to that. Basically, when you're looking in the ingredients, 
you want to look at first what is the base. So this is a water-based product. Sometimes they'll have an oil-based product. And if you're mixing water-based products with oil-based products, sometimes you're going to have a reaction with that. So you want to just see what is the first ingredient. And then otherwise, you don't really need to pay attention much to the ingredients list, except for looking for things you have a known allergy to or a known reaction to. And also things that your skin agrees with. So for me, looking at this, my eyes are immediately drawn to this, where they were saying jojoba seed oil, meadow foam seed oil, and all of these sorts of oils and stuff. My skin is fine with these ingredients, but what my skin really likes is the Camilla Cineus leaf extract. It's a calming agent, and my skin really likes it. So that is something that I am drawn to in this product. So that's how you're going to be looking at these sorts of products. So now I'm going to have it on the screen here for you guys, and I'll be looking at um, the highlights on here. But I'm kind of be going to going rapid fire because I have a lot of products and um, for like each category. So it's going to be a lot. So the first recommendation was the Laneige Cream Skin Milk Oil Cleanser, and that's going to be your first step at night. In the morning, you don't need to use an oil cleanser because there's really nothing you're needing to be taking off. So start with the oil cleanser at night. Next recommendation is the Inky List Oat Cleansing Balm. So it is a balm, but it kind of melts into an oil. And for a lot of oil cleansers, you're going to need to emulsify it. And what emulsify it means is, okay, you're going to put the product on. It's going to be like all oily or something. Then you're going to get a little bit of water on your hand. And you're just going to rub that in a little bit. And like sometimes it'll turn like white, like sort of like a milk. And that's, gonna, that's what emulsification is. And then after you emulsify it, then you rinse your face off like super well. So that's, that's an error I see a lot of people making with oil cleansers and balm cleansers, okay? So a lot of the times it won't tell you to emulsify it, but a lot of times you're going to need to emulsify it, okay? So then um, highlights of this product is that it, is, it uses oat and oatmeal, and that is really good for calming the skin, and it's just great. It's, it's great. Trust me on this, it's great. But if you live in a warm climate, this will start to melt in the bottle. So that's why I stopped using this product. But I think if you're on the mainland, you'll be completely fine using this product. So next, we have the Sephora Collection Melting Cleansing Balm Cleanse Plus Balance. So this is a balm. It kind of looks a little gelish in the tube, but it's saying the formulation is a balm. And the thing that... um really interested me about this is it has algae in it so microalgae and brown algae and it says it's good for balancing the skin's ph i really don't know what that means i know skin has to have a certain ph but i don't know how that correlates with skincare but they say it's a good thing so good ph balancing so those are all cleansing balms and cleansing oils after that here is step two Step two is a water cleanser or like a foaming cleanser. This is where it's going to be important to pay attention because cleansing balms and cleansing oils cannot be used alone. So if you're getting a cleansing balm or a cleansing oil from this video, make sure you're getting a cleansing, a water cleanser or foaming cleanser, okay? So pay attention here. So of course, my first recommendation is going to be the Youth to the People Superfood Antioxidant and I guess it's refillable now, cleanser. And this is a great, simple, basic cleanser. It does smell like a salad a little bit, which is interesting. It is vegan. And I actually recommend this uh, cleanser for every skin type. And it has a uh, kale in it, which is supposed to be good for brightening the skin. And um, it has aloe in it, which we all know what aloe does. Aloe is amazing. Mwah. And green tea leaf extract and glycerin, those are good. Green tea is good for like dark spots or antioxidants. And glycerin is like a hydrating agent. So this is a really great um, cleanser just to have in your back pocket, really. So like if you're going to try any cleanser, start with a basic cleanser. Don't go for like all the frills with like AHA, BHA, niacinamide, and all of that. Just Keep it simple. Next is the First Aid Beauty Pure Skin Face Cleanser. So First Aid Beauty is great for dry skin, 
I get all my friends first day beauty if they have dry skin. And it's like a very good first step into skincare because they all uh, have like the base of oats and oatmeal, which is good for hydration, calming and all of that. And then it's just uh, first aid beauty is really good about um, being fragrance free. Yeah. So, of course, the highlight ingredient is going to be um, the oats and oatmeal. And this also has alatonin, which is great for calming the skin. And it also helps with redness. So we're having alatonin, oat, oatmeal. It has glycerin as well and aloe. So if you see aloe in everything, that's a great product. <laughs> okay, next we're going to be going into serums. So again, I'm not going to be talking about any active serums. These are going to be serums that you are, that are helping with hydration mostly and helping with the skin barrier, not, in, not uh, serums that are going to be like getting rid of acne or dark spots, you know? Working with the, uh, your skin barrier naturally gets rid of acne, so just focus on hydration, people, especially with dry skin. You need lots and lots of hydration. So this first uh, serum recommendation is the Innisfree Green Tea Hyaluronic Acid Hydrating Serum. I love Innisfree. Innisfree is great, but they do have fragrance, which is not great for me, but a lot of people don't have a reaction to fragrance, so you'll be completely fine with this. And this has hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid, which is great for um, locking in moisture. And when you're using a hyaluronic acid serum, you want to make sure your skin is kind of moist while you're applying that because that is going to lock in the moisture. If you apply it into dry skin, it's not going to work very well. And then this also has a green tea with it, which is great for moisture. Uh, <laughs> antioxidants green tea is just amazing next serum is i've heard amazing things about this serum but i personally can't use this serum because it's a little bit oily so this is the merit great skin instant glow serum with niacinamide and hyaluronic acid again i love niacinamide but be careful of how many products you're using with niacinamide this is a, a beautiful product it kind of like has clear oil at the top and like dark oil at the bottom and like you kind of mix it when you and people use it as like a primer as well and it's just a beautiful beautiful serum that I've seen on people and they just look great it's good for uneven texture it has our hyaluronic acid and our niacinamide next is our watermelon glow niacinamide dew drops I love this I love this serum and yes it does have a very strong fragrance smell and yes there's fragrance in it but it is just amazing like you can use this without makeup and your skin will look vibrant and radiant and it's just great it has um niacinamide hyaluronic acid it says watermelon helps hydrate and deliver vitamins and brighten skin but it has fragrance in the second to last list in the ingredients it's second to last in the ingredients list and sometimes that means that it's less than one percent when it's that far down but just be cautious with this. I can't use this every day because of the fragrance. So I use it as like a primer for my makeup. Okay, next is the Glow Recipe Avocado Smoothing Skin Barrier Serum with Ceramides. Ceramides are amazing. If you have dry skin, you want everything with ceramides. Ceramides, how do I explain ceramides? Let's see if they explain it. Okay, ceramides or is naturally producing in the skin, so this is adding more, and it supports skin barrier and helps reduce redness and dryness. So great. And then avocado is good for soothing and nourishing, and the alatonin is good for soothing redness and all of that. I love this product, but it, it it's too hydrating for me with my oily combo skin. So great for dry skin, though. Next is our Laneige. Cream, skin, toner, and moisturizer. They have this in the spray form. I use the spray form just because it doesn't, it's not as moisturizing for me. But the, the toner form is chef's kiss for dry skin. So this has white leaf tea water in it, which was also in the, the oil cleanser, the milky cleanser. And it's a very short ingredient list. It's just a very good 
hydrator. Next, we have the cult classic Tower 28 SOS Rescue Facial Spray. And this is um, sort of an ingredient list that is three long. <laughs> So a lot of people say it smells like pool water, and I would agree with that. It does smell like pool water, but it's just, it's a very good spray. And it's not necessarily targeted to dry skin, but you can use it as a dry skin person. And it just helps with anti-inflammation, antibacterial, uh, reduces redness and soothes irritation. And on the ingredients list here, it does explain what these product, what these ingredients do. So if you're interested in that, I would check that out. Next, we're going to do sunscreen. Um, so basically, I'm kind of skipping over face moisturizer here because I don't really like any of the options for face moisturizer on the website. And here's why. A lot of them have... Um, a lot of them have alcohol in the first three ingredients list and a lot of them have fragrance and as a moisturizer a moisturizer is going to stay on your skin all day it's the product that you kind of use the most you know with cleansers you're washing that off with serums those are more targeted products but with a moisturizer that's like the most important part of your routine I think and I just didn't feel comfortable recommend recommending any of the moisturizers because I personally wouldn't use them, you know? Okay, so we're skipping over to sunscreen and kind of the same thing with the sunscreens here. I didn't really like their options for sunscreens. I do, I am an avid Korean skincare and Japanese skincare supporter and I think they have a lot better options for sunscreen. But if you want to get everything from Sephora, this is what I would recommend from Sephora. It is the Shiseido. This is a Japanese brand, by the way. Shiseido Clear Sunscreen Stick SPF 50. Why I'm, while I'm recommending the stick instead of the liquid is because the stick just has a lot better ingredients in it. And it doesn't have alcohol in the first three ingredients. So this is a great sunscreen. It is sort of like mattifying and it's not going to be super oily on your skin. One of my friends, she uses this product and she adores it. So it's a great sunscreen and it's good for dryness, people with dry skin. Okay, now we're going to be going on to a body care. So some of the things you use on the body, you can use on the face. But I think your skin on your body is a lot more resilient than the skin on your face. So if you just be careful, okay? That's like my one thing. So I, while I was looking at the website, I was kind of surprised with this brand. I had never heard of it before, but it has great ingredient lists and it's beautiful. It is the Maud, M-A-U-D-E, Wash, pH Balance, Body Wash, and Bubble Bath. Doesn't that just sound so appealing? And it's fragrance-free and it's good and it's vegan. So great, great. There is um, different scents, so there is an unscented version, a version with amber, cedar leaf, clove, lemon, lemongrass, and tonka bean, uh, another scent that's bright notes of pink pepper, gurgeon balsam, lemon, and cedar wood, and then another scent of fresh notes of eucalyptus, sandalwood, cassis, and Haitian vetiver. Sounds fancy. I can't use fragrance products like at all. It's it's not fun, but I really appreciate it when everyone has unscented versions. So this is just a really interesting product and I I think it would be an amazing product to try out if you're looking to get body care from here. Looking to get body care from here. Next is another body wash and it is called it's by the brand by Rosie Jane and pardon my French but it is the wake the fuck up everyday body wash and I don't know sometimes I just think it's fun when brands sort of just say 
So this is also vegan. It says it's good for anti-aging. And it has white tea extract, pine bark extract, and cocoa extract. So the white tea is good for collagen and elasticity. Pine bark extract is good for circulation. And cocoa extract is good for hydration and soothing. I just thought there was a, this was a really cool ingredients list as well. I haven't tried those. Next is my favorite. My favorite brand really ever for skincare at least for body skincare pardon me so this is a body lotion and it is the necessaire body lotion with niacinamide vitamins and peptides peptides are also a really great ingredient for dry skin it kind of goes hand in hand with ceramides ceramides and peptides are great and this is good for um loss of firmness firmness it's vegan and it's fragrance free Peptides to signal peptides to signal peptides help skin's visible firmness and tightness and this has plant oils as well Where's my ingredient list? Here it is It's just a great ingredients list. I love it. I love necessaire Next is another necessaire product and I am actually getting this product for myself This is the necessaire Body serum with hyaluronic acids, niacinamide, and ceramide. When I tried this at the store, I was amazed. I love the texture of it. It's like a, a gel, sort of, sort of jelly-like. It just feels so good. And rubbing it into my hand, I was like, oh my god, instant hydration. And I could just imagine putting this on my body would be like so luxurious. And I do think this might be an okay one to use on the face. And that's a, a lot of product for $45. It is expensive. But hey, we're shopping at Sephora here. <laughs> so this has hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, ceramides. I think I've gone over all of those ingredients before, so good. And it has aloe. Next is, okay, this is the Fenty Skin Butter Drop Refillable Whipped Oil Body Cream. So that's a little bit interesting for me to mix oil and cream, but it's because it uses so many um, so many oils in it, I guess. It has seven oils in it. It has Kalahari Melon, Sorrel, Baobab, Sunflower, Rice Bran, Coconut, and Jojoba Oil. If you have extremely dry skin, this is it for you. Um, but does it have fragrance? It does have fragrance, but it's second to last in the ingredients list. So if you have extremely dry skin, yes. If you have eczema and sensitive skin, probably no. But it just has great ingredients in it. And next, for a dry skin, if you want to lock in all of that moisture, this is a great product for you. And this is the Biosance 100% Sugar Cane Squalane Oil. And when I was getting into skincare, I was learning a whole bunch about squalane and I was like, oh my God, give me every single product with squalane oil. Squalene? Squalane? I don't know how to pronounce it, but give me that product. And this is not, um, this is not squalane oil from Sharts. This is squalane oil from Sugarcane. So this is cruelty free and it's vegan. And it's great for, I would say most skin types, except for oily. I can use this product on my body, but I can't use it on my face. And you, again, be careful mixing oils and creams on your face. Like if you're using an active ingredient such as tretinoin, um, that is not going to interact well with an oil or a Vaseline. Just a heads up. Next, again with my favorite brand, Necessaire. This is a product I use and I can swear by. It is a, the Necessaire deodorant gel with 5% alpha hydroxy acid, that's AHA, and niacinamide. So I was saying I wasn't going to recommend any AHAs or BHAs, but this is different because it's underneath the armpit. So it helps with like darkness. It helps with ingrown hairs. It is just a great deodorant and it actually works. It actually stops your smell. You don't smell and you don't get ingrown hairs and you don't get that irritation from shaving. Um, the alpha hydroxy acid, it helps with odor, it minimizes discoloration, and it smooth bumps. Smooth bumps? Niacinamide helps with the skin barrier, 
and it has chamomile in it to calm. And this comes in two scents. It has an unscented, it's fragrance free, I use that. Some of these uh, deodorants that have AHA and BHA in it, they kind of have like a weird chemical smell to this. This doesn't. And I also like that this isn't a liquid, it's a gel because when I put it on, I don't feel like I have wet armpits with my shirt, you know? It kind of, it dries down quickly, so it's good. And I don't like stick deodorant because those are tricky. Anyways, so it has a fragrance-free and a eucalyptus scent. Next, um, I don't really use a tanning oil or any tanning products because I am tan. People of my skin tone, lighter and darker, can use tanning products. I heard it was a secret that um, celebrities use on the red carpet is to do a tanning oil or like tan beforehand because it sort of like evens out the skin tone and provides more radiance. So for dry skin, I recommend the Isla Paradise Self Tanning Firming Body Drops. Sounds cool, huh? It has um, three levels. It has light, medium, and dark. And what drew me to this product is that it helps with skin elasticity. It makes your skin look firmer, brighter, and more even toned. And this is clean at Sephora. So some of them are vegan, some of them are clean. It's a little bit different. So this has caffeine, which helps, you know, sort of lift. And oat extract to soothe. And baobab. Baobab? Apparently it soothes irritation with a blend of vitamins, omega fatty acids, and antioxidants. So I don't know a ton about tanning products, but this looks great. Next is um, lip product, chapstick sort of, and if you can guess what I'm going to recommend, five points. It is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. They have very interesting flavors, but the flavors also have a shade, so it's kind of like a tinted lip balm. So they have vanilla, poppy, vanilla beige, brown sugar, pink sugar, and cherry. So this product sells out super duper quickly. So as soon as you see this and you want this, put it in your cart and check it out. But this is just like, it's just a really smooth product. And apparently it plumps. Okay, I don't really like plumping products, but if you like it, good for you. And this has shea butter and muru, muru butter. And it's vegan. So get it. Next is I think another product you'll probably be able to guess but maybe not in the form I'm going to recommend it in. Next is the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. So I like it in the tube a lot better because it just feels more sanitary first off and second of all I don't know if they have different formulations or whatever or if it's like the packaging affecting it but they're different. The one in the tub and the one in the tube they are different. Trust me on this. And originally I didn't like this product because it was just too moisturizing for me and I would kind of get breakouts around my lips from it because it was just so, so moisturizing, I guess. Like, it's hard to explain, but it just, it did affect the skin around my lips. But then when I went to the mainland, this was like my lifesaver. Like, with the dry weather there, it soothed my lips, it helped the cracks, and it helped like just... Everything was even. It was perfect. So I use the gummy bear scent flavor just because, and it tastes delicious. Don't don't eat your chapstick, but this is so good. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then they have a grapefruit, a berry, and a peach flavor. Peach sounds good, but the gummy bear, it's like, I don't know how to describe it. It tastes like gummy bears, but like a different sort of gummy bears. Like that just reminds me of my childhood. But yeah, get this lip balm. And then if you don't want something so thick and emollient, I guess you could say, this is my next recommendation. It has amazing reviews. I was kind of surprised because I never hear anyone talk about it. But I guess people don't really talk about lip balms when they're doing like recommendations. But this is the Pharmacy Honey Butter Beeswax Lip Balm. It just... 
like everyone who tried it apparently loved it and I just couldn't pass up the amazing reviews for this. So it has all honey in it, beeswax, kupu aku, <laughs> kupu aku, and cocoa butters. So it's just it sounds so great. I feel like this might be a great product. So definitely give it a try if you're looking for um, a chapstick or a lip balm that actually works. And last but not least, we have to have a face mask. So I love sheet masks, but they also do feel a little bit wasteful because, you know, they're one use. But this is a wash off mask and it is the Corez. I don't think I've heard of this brand before, but it's the Corez Greek Yogurt Probiotic Super Dose Face Mask. If you know Greek yogurt, it's like super thick and it just sounds like it's gonna give you the most amazing smoothness and moisture and bounce to your skin. This has Greek yogurt, which is supposed to nourish, aloe, which helps the skin recover, and rice extract, which replenishes hydration. I don't think they have this in store, at least around me, but this looks so creamy, kind of yummy. <laughs> It just looks great. It kind of does look like Greek yogurt in the tube, in the tub. But remember, Greek yogurt that's used in skincare is stabilized. And Greek yogurt that you get at the grocery store is not. So those are all of my skincare recommendations for dry skin. Make sure that when you are getting these products that you put in the coupon code. Because they will not automatically give you your a VIB insider or rouge discount. You need to put in your code. So the code is saved now. And right now the um, sale is open for VIB rouge. It is um, from the 14th, April 14th to April 24th. Uh, you also can start buying the Sephora collection, which is 30% off. And that is the same time period is April 14th to April 24th. If you are a Sephora VIB, your sale does not start until the 18th, but it goes on for the same length. And if you are an insider, you start at the same time as VIB. So VIB and insider, you start on the 18th and go to the 24th. And make sure if you're buying online to use the code save now. If you're buying in person, they will give you your discount. So yeah, I hope you guys liked all of those recommendations. Please let me know if you try any of them or if there's something that you think everyone has to try there are some things that like I use that I didn't necessarily recommend because for my friends I'm not going to give them like 10,000 recommendations I want to like kind of streamline it so they can you know they have options and they can choose from those options so you know when I go shopping with my friends I'll be like oh I heard that's really great or I've used that before and you know then they will go off of their own judgment of what they like so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and comment and I will see you guys next time if you are waiting for the makeup recommendations, I'll see you there. Bye!